Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be uh, talking about some very important basic things about Mario Concept Champion and that is the simple fact that you need to find an opening, you need to be able to start your combo in order to hit your opponent and what are the ways to do that in the game, what are uh, the differences in between them, which ones are better for what scenario and how to basically perform all of them in a fight and I'm going to demonstrate that in a video. So first things first, uh, let's just jump to the next screen over here where I basically have listed down all and only five ways how you can start attacking your opponent and that is a very core of Marvel Fans of Champions because at its base you only have a handful of functions. You can swipe right, you can swipe left, you can tap on the right side of the screen, you can tap on the left side of the screen, you can hit special button and that is about all you can do pretty much in this game. However, Marvel Concept Champions has been an uh, incredible success, largely because of how many different interactions, abilities, nodes, champion abilities, so on and so forth, we have available to us, which actually mixes all of these basics up. But it's extremely important to recognize kind of like the base functionality of the game and uh, what will possibly help you in a fight to find that extra edge and uh, defeat your opponent. So number one is the most common and the most kind of like wildly used uh, way to g gain an opening and start landing your hits and that would be parry and stun abilities in general. Now typically extra stun abilities can be triggered for vast majority let's say in special attacks which lets you kind of like continue your combination but the very base normally starts with your parry and parry stun where you just perform a well-timed block that it basically means tap on the left side of the screen at the exactly right moment when your opponent is trying to launch an attack at you and you will in exchange stun the opponent and that will allow you to start your combo, land your special attack, do whatever you want. Now this is kind of like the very bare basic uh, way how people typically start landing their attacks, however it's also the one that's easiest to be messed with and easiest one to be kind of like disabled by simply making opponents stun immune, by placing limber nodes, by making opponents debuff immune, so on and so forth. So quite frequently, let's say in endgame uh, or harder difficulty scenarios, this will not be a reliable way how to gain an opening and start damaging your opponents. Now another very kind of like basic and foolproof way and that was something that I personally absolutely had to do when I started playing this game because parry didn't really exist and the ability to parry wasn't something that overtook everybody's game styles immediately overnight and that is uh, simply to bait heavy attacks or block until your opponent tries to land a heavy attack or tries to, well, or finishes his full combo with medium attack you still have a window you can attack. So effectively for most part it is uh, just holding your block till opponent is done hitting it and then you will have a small window of opportunity where you can uh, punish your opponent. However obviously taking damage on block especially in uh, later and more difficult fights is something you want to avoid because attack values uh, opponents typically will have much more attack and much more health than you do and even though you do mitigate quite a lot of damage you take via holding your block out rather than allowing opponents to connect clean on you, you still, it's not sustainable way how to fight in harder scenarios and harder fights and harder battles and it's also quite frequently just kind of implausible when your opponent has so much more attack than you do. However, there is a good news to that and there are ways how to bait opponents heavy attack without actually having them hit your block. I have made a video specifically about that, uh, what kind of techniques you can employ, kind of trick opponent into throwing heavy attack, and I will leave a video for that somewhere about uh, on top of the description bar. Now point number three would be punishing special attacks, and punishing special attacks is also extremely common thing in Mario Concept Champions, and that's like one of go-to options uh, when it comes to damaging your opponents. Now problem again with punishing special attacks lies in the power cycle and power cycle is another extremely interesting subject that I'm going to make a separate video for but in the bare basics it's the simple fact that opponents gain more power by getting struck than you do by striking them so that means they're going to gain to special get to special attacks quicker than you do however not every single one of your combos that you land an opponent will push them to special attack under normal circumstances and you cannot only and exclusively rely on this method it's extremely useful it's extremely frequent and in general scenario 
However, it's not the only method. It is something you want to incorporate with either party stands, betting heavy intercepts or other abilities. You cannot rely on this method exclusively in an average fight. However, there are some champions who do it much better than others. And I'm going to try and demonstrate that as well later on in uh, the actual gameplay part of the video. And also worth mentioning is that there are champion champions in the game whose special attacks cannot be punished due to their animation style or extremely fast recovery times therefore unfortunately this uh, way of gaining opening and being able to start damaging your opponent landing your combo is not 100 percent reliable for all of the champions in game just because of the different animations and different reaches and recovery times that we have however it's extremely fundamentally important part of the game and it's something that we all frequently use without even thinking too much about it but there is bigger kind of like underlying story that we could talk about opponents power cycle and their special attack pun punishing their special attacks now point number four is intercept and there are multiple types of intercepts there are uh, your standard dash back intercept where you basically force opponent to the wall and three four hits in them and then dash back dash straight in which is again uh, still with a margin of error and that uh, is somewhat risky then there are uh, your regular intercept where both you and your opponent are standing more or less in opposite sides of the screen and you just wait for opponent to dash in at you and you react to it as quickly as you can and then is uh, there is an also an option where you can push yourself against the wall wait for opponent to dash in and just interrupt his combo or beginning of his combo with a light attack after you have dexed the first attack so i'm going to demonstrate some of those in today's video as well and lastly the kind of like a last and most varied diverse point would be champion abilities and pretty much all of these abilities are extremely important and all of these abilities highly elevate you average champions usability in endgame contest for instance one of the best examples here would be champion like ghost and large reason why ghost is as great of a champion as she is is her ability to effortlessly find openings while her phasing letting opponent hit you once or twice and then just interrupting them in the middle of that combo because you do not get uh, basically punished or hit while opponents try to land their attacks at you another great example here would be for instance quake because quake doesn't need to find openings to damage the opponent that is a large reason why she is a great champion uh, some other notable abilities would be nick fury when he goes unblockable because if you're unblockable all of the above <laughs> requirements kind of go out of the window because you don't need to intercept you don't need to punish special attacks you don't need to bait heavy attacks or you don't need to parry stand the opponent because you can just hit their block and still connect same with a gun at 999 combo and without a doubt a whole bunch of other champions who have unblockable basic attacks or unblockable special attacks or what have you so there are multitude of different champion abilities that can help you get uh, extra openings however the first four are very core basics of the game that everybody should be aware of and everybody should be able to use the best of their advantage so now let's jump in the game I'm not gonna have any kind of like overly uh, specific fights here i'm just going to demonstrate a couple of the points that i made earlier in the video because uh, it always helps to have visual aid so we're going to start with tor and we're going to kind of like cycle through some of the basic ideas so when opponent dashes in at you this is a parry stun so you six i successfully block the opponent's attack right at the time when it would connect and opponent gets stunned by parry mastery and that is pretty much the easiest way how to gain an opening now here we had a perfect example of a power cycle because uh Winter Soldier used his special attack and I punished it. However, I, after landing a full combo, he was still not at a full bar of power. Now, sometimes you do manage to push him past the bar of power, but like right now, I'm going to land another full combo and it is not enough. He was not like past the bar of, com past the bar of power, so I had to uh, find another way how to generate an opening, for instance and that is kind of like the base idea of punishing opponent's special attacks and where power cycle comes into play because uh, opponent gains x amount of power for every combo that you land however it's not typically more than a bar of power so you will have to find different ways how to find openings on your opponent now hopefully if he throws his level one here i'm going to be able to demonstrate like a dash back intercept here we can see that this is a called a dash back intercept which is also fairly frequent but however at the same time kind of 
somewhat riskier and somewhat more skill intensive uh, ability how to find openings versus your opponent right uh, next we're gonna try and stand up intercept as soon as I bait out his level 2 because uh, that is an important thing about intercept is kind of always making sure that opponent doesn't have a bar of power otherwise when you dash in they can just use special attack now that was just kind of like a typical stand up intercept where you can see that we are both at the end of our screen and I'm just reacting to his animation dashing back in at me uh, and I'm trying to kind of like react to it quickly enough so I can interrupt his dash now the next point would be oops <laughs> here we messed up I'm playing about a bit too much next point would be I'm going to try and wait for him to dash back in whilst I'm against the wall okay that wasn't exactly quite successful but let's try it again <laughs> whoopsie I guess we're gonna have to skip this one because this AI is a bit iffy or I'm just being a bit too slow but typically when you have an aggressive AI you can punish opponent who dashes in at you if you have your back against the wall okay let's give it one more go after a bait out special attack wonderful you see that was the thing where he landed his attack I dexed it the first attack and then I dropped my light attack and therefore I was quicker and I was able to punish my opponent now so far we have gone through most of the abilities that I have described with intercepts, with punishing special attacks, with paristan. Last one to discuss here would be block baiting heavy attacks or letting opponent finish a combination in their block. So this is simple, the simplest thing. Just hold your block and opponent's gonna try to throw heavy attack. And heavy attacks have higher recovery time, so you are kind of like safe to go in and punish opponent's heavy attacks. It's a very simple, very basic ability. It's kind of like the beginner uh, best friend I would say but it's unfortunately not really viable for uh, stuff like act 6 or higher kind of like difficulty content because that block damage in realm of legends isn't too major however where opponents attacks are significantly higher your health will go down extremely quickly so we have kind of gone over parry stun intercepts block baiting attacks and we have gone over uh, special punishing special attacks and last thing that we can discuss here would be champion abilities and I'll, and kind of like multitude of power cycles as well because there are ways how to increase for instance your power gain and if you increase your own power gain you can use special attacks which in exchange give more power to your opponent and with kind of like continuing train of thought your opponents will gain more power than they normally would because you are able to finish pretty much all your let's say basic combos with a special attack and thus they will largely be having a full bar of power every time you finish a combo so this is kind of like not a standard power cycle but this at the same time ensures that punching a special attack can pretty much be the only thing that you really need in a fight like this because we can see here every time I finish a combo I drop a special attack he gains even more power and that pushes him past a bar of power and that is the reason why I don't have to intercept why I don't have to parry why I don't have to block bait anything pretty much and uh, yeah I am perfectly able to sustain the entire fight and fight rhythm simply by uh, simply by Finishing my combo with every special with a special attack. Wasp functions, for instance, similarly, and that's one of the kind of like coolest things about Wasp, is because you don't really have to find extra openings because you are able to chain a heavy attack at end of your combo that gives opponent more power, and it typically will almost always push opponent past the bar of power, and you can just bait that out, and then you can kind of like carry on. Uh, so that is another example of how altering a power cycle can help you just kind of like be less dependent on any other methods of finding an opening speaking about champion abilities uh, here's going to be another demonstration of the ghost and ghost is a champion who i said that can relatively easily find an opening 
basically without any problems in the vast majority of the scenarios just with that phasing ability so obviously you can still and you should still punish opponent special attacks but you don't how to intercept you don't how to parry you simply how to phase you need to learn the timing of opponent's hits and then you can interrupt them and here i'm throwing a special twin and block the impatient even now you can just go and punish opponent's special attack dash back phase let them hit you and you have an easy way how to find an opening and this is in my opinion is kind of like the secret to ghost success and dominance because uh quite a lot of nodes in harder content are designed to mess with your openings to disable stuff like parry to to uh, prevent you from either intercepting me or punishing special attacks and so forth and that's why ghost is able to kind of adapt as well as she is and uh, still have a huge amount of value in so many different kind of like pieces of content uh, but yeah this is gonna be pretty much it uh, for today's video so i'm gonna just jump back to the scene so once again parry and stun abilities uh, is like the very base and most one of the most popular ways how people gain access to starting their combos and finding openings then you have baiting heavy attacks or just block blocking until opponent finishes a full combo because after his last medium you're gonna have a window of attack punishing special attacks uh, again not always possible but extremely fundamentally important in pretty much every fight and then you have intercepts there are several different types of intercepts i demonstrated as some of them in today's video as well and lastly you have champion abilities and their interaction with power cycles so on and so forth or just abilities to find new openings becoming unblockable so on and so forth right that will pretty much do for today's video i hope it has been helpful uh, that is the end goal after all and if you did like today's video well then here take a look at uh, baby yoda having a drink from his sippy cup is one of the coolest things happen in uh, recent years i would say uh he's such a darling everybody loves this little guy right uh all that being said if you didn't like today's video or you didn't find it useful well then i must apologize but i would appreciate if you showed yourselves out promptly and uh yeah that's me done for today hit that like button hit that sub button if you think you know somebody who could benefit from this video uh then definitely share the video with your friends alliance mates and whoever else but yeah see you guys